Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. We're moving on with our tutorial series. I think we're at part seven um, of our vintage envelope stack. And it tucks in this drawstring bag. We did all of these together and we moved on to making the journal cover and then um, going to decorate it. Now, my video, my last video, I was getting ready to do the tie enclosures and it um, went, it just stopped. <laughs> it just stopped. So I don't know how that happened, but it did. So I wanna, I, I didn't know it stopped. And so um, I'm just gonna show you quickly. Uh, I think it stopped right at the point we were doing this trim. So um, I decided to do uh, an enclosure with this pretty um, mint color sari that I have here and all I did was I punched the hole and put the put the eyelet in and this is eight inches so I went uh, four inches down to do the hole and I did one in the front and one in the back and I simply just tied uh, tied the sari in. Okay, uh, I had mentioned that we were going to, I think I wanna just uh, do a little simple decoration on the front of this. Oops, I dropped something. And I picked out some things because I wanted to kind of look, you know, go with, if this is all gonna coordinate, go with the bag, and I did the layering of the laces and stuff. So I wanted to do something similar that, to that. And I had these labels that came from, that matched, um, there's a whole bunch of them. These come from the Graphics Fairy membership site. And I realized under my first video where I listed all my digitals, I did not list all of this. So, Cause I got some of my wall, vintage wallpaper prints off of there. And then I have some tags and some of these were in that. So I'm gonna, I will link that where I found that. So I picked out this label and I thought that would be cute on the front. And I've just cut out or ripped a square of this muslin. And I thought that would be cute. And then since I did the layered lace on the other one, um, I thought maybe some lace like that. So we'll have something like this. And I will take this to the machine and sew it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, glue glue these pieces of lace so let me get them right in the right spot um i'll glue these on and then um i will take it to the machine later and then i will come back and glue the whole thing to the front so i think that looks good right there so let me get um my three in one from beacon it's a great um all purpose and great for uh fabric too Actually, let me just put it on the back of this lace and somewhat try to center that. As usual, too much glue. I always am worried that I'm not going to have enough and I always end up doing too much. So, I don't know. It's just... It's just the way it is. Try to measure that. Let me see. Let me lay this on here while the glue is still tacky to see if that's going to work. Let me hold this up. Yeah, I think that looks good. And I might do a uh, key because I have a key on the bag. So I'm thinking I might put a key I'll show you where. I'm not gonna do it now because we're gonna be sewing in signatures and stuff. I think we, yeah, we picked out the page. So this, I'm going to go and sew right around this area here, and then I'm um, going to glue that, well, probably right about there. So I'm thinking I might attach a, clue, a, a key right here. So um, maybe a small, since I used a bronze key on this, might do a small, if I can find a small bronze key. If not, I'll do a gold. Because um, I have some small, my, unfortunately, most of my bronze colored or brass colored. Here's one that might be a little smaller. This size would be good. 
So I'll just take a ball pen. Let me just hold this gold one up. I'll just take a ball pen. I think that's my smallest key from what I can see. And um, attach the ball pin right through the sorry year so we'll have a key and this is going to be a real sweet journal cover okay now we're going to move on to um doing um f finishing out our pages now we stacked them all i came in and i trimmed them down to size okay to what would fit in that journal and um now we're going to add some pockets and stuff um let me see i want to show you something uh we did together and we talked i showed you how whoops that's sticking how to make your doily a couple videos ago flip flip your doily up like this uh down like this well you do it like this and you add your cardstock and you in behind and then you can have two nice pockets so i finished doing that with all the doilies uh but what i had left over something dawned on me i need to secure this there oops oh, strings glue strings and here and here so i do have a you know a pocket so all right so what i had left over is i had um some really cute kind of templates so let's just pull this one let me see i want that one let's pull this one forward and we're going to work on a pocket for the inside cover um but also i'm thinking this would be cute for a little something there i think i'm going to add this i like to add pockets on an angle and then what i will do is i'm going to probably go and sew this so i'm just taking one of the labels just for this front cover and I'm going to put it like that. And then I have the cutest little, see? So I'll put a little lace on this after. Okay. I have these, let me just, whoops, let me just show you what I ended up having left over. So here's a stack of stuff of cutoffs and trims and a few things I thought would make good pockets. Um, I have these, and this was where... I cut down, you know, to, to put in the scallop, um, you know, the scallop part of the, what you call it. And I thought, I'm not going to throw those away. This could make a really cute pocket. So I'm going to do that and we'll probably put a little lace on it. And let me see. Um, let me mark this right here. So it's almost like you did a... You fussy cut like a die cut shape, you know? So I'm gonna do that with those. And I thought, I thought you know, cause I thought about just trimming off that end and just having some straight pockets. But look at that, so cute. So let me just ink the white core part all the way around. And then we will glue this. I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac because I'll be sewing around this. But, you know, sewing is just an option. So I haven't been feeling very hot the last couple days. And, and yesterday I'm like, oh, I feel like I might be coming down with something. Da, 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 da. And I didn't have any symptoms other than feeling a little like feverish and nausea and um nothing else just nausea i had a headache uh and then i realized i'm going through what's called the keto flu okay i don't i probably have mentioned it on this channel i've been in ketosis probably for which i follow the ketogenic diet and i do it for health reasons because um it helps uh my autoimmune disease um but I kind of slacked off on it the last six months. And so I'm like, I've got to get back on track because I've been feeling not well again. I said, you know, I'm not eating well again. I'm not following my, um, okay, now this one, huh, 
This one, this isn't gonna work here. This has to go on, see now this one, wait a minute. I guess we could do that, that's kind of fun, just right up the side there. And I'll probably add a little trim here, or I could do, do a little pocket here. Let me see if I have another little piece. See, this one would be better. I'll use that in the next thing. I, I, I wanna use this, I like the whole thing. Um, so what happens when your body converts over to, you know, from a regular glycogen-based diet to a fat-burning phase, using your fat for energy? Um, when you first start it, you can get a little flu symptoms because your body is, you know, adjusting to that, that whole new process. So I feel a, a tad bit better today. And when that happens, I need to really up my electrolytes and stuff like that. If any of you guys have followed follow the ketogenic lifestyle and you have any tips, uh, I'd be open to that. I mean, to hearing your successes on it and whatnot. I mean, it's a whole nother part of my life because I really, yeah, you just have to really know your stuff. You really follow. A lot of people follow it and they do it incorrectly and they don't have good results. This is cute. So we've got a, a nice large tuck here. I kind of liked this little doohickey here where then I have a tuck in here and then, let me see, would that, could you open up? Yeah, you could open up and write on that. Um, I'm just going to use it because it's right here. Why not? So we can have a tuck there and then that open up. So I think I'm just going to glue here and here. So this will be kind of fun. This will be interesting to see how I, what I tuck in behind here. So if I if, if I seem a little more sluggish than normal, that's that's what's going on. Wait, I don't know why I'm pressing that side down. I didn't glue that side. All right, so then we're gonna have I might do a little Velcro enclosure. So we're gonna have a tuck over here. We're gonna have a tuck here, and then we have a large tuck there. Okay, so there's those pockets, and I'm thinking the middle is plain. Oh, I went ahead and added pockets here. Um, okay, so what I did is I did the same pockets here that I did on the inside cover, okay, right here. And I showed you that in, I think, the last video, the last video. So I think we're pretty good up, but I did want to show you, I did do the same thing here. I, gotta, oh, I did glue it. I showed you that. All right, let's move on with the next one and see what we have over here. I have this again, but I think I'm going to do that on the inside back cover. So I have, I'll just do, just do a plain pocket here. Or I could do an angled pocket, that would be fun. So first thing I have to do is kind of um, trim this down. It's a little bit too wide. So I hope it stays fairly quiet in here because my husband's home. I'm filming this on a Saturday and he's outside doing a project. So he's gonna be using the saw. So when I do an angle pocket, so I want the angle to go this way right here because you're going to be closing this so if it goes this way sometimes maybe this stuff will fall down I just take these two points and I lay them on my cutter Let's see if I can show you this where there's the point no no we're not gonna do that okay so there's one point and there's the other point and then then I have two angle pockets so Wait a minute. Wait a second. What did I do here? Well, I did that wrong, didn't I? 
No, I didn't do that wrong. Well, yeah, I did. Wait a minute. There we go. Jeez. Okay. And these are fun because you can put some real pretty trims across there. So let me go ahead and glue this one, and then we'll do the back, the um, back signature cover. And I'm not going to worry too much about enough glue because there again, I am going to sew this. Okay, let me flip this over. Um, I'm wondering if I want to do another one of those little pocket things here, and I do. They're so cute. The little labels. Come on, glue. And um, in that kit, they have um, these real cute postage stamp um, with the little vintage wallpaper. So how cute would that be just to tuck a couple of these in there? So cute. All right, so let's flip this over. And let me see. We could do this one, might as well. I have it, it's cut. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, I would appreciate if you could do a thumbs up and if you're new to my uh, channel, uh, hit that subscribe button and always like if you could. Uh, that really encourages me when I see those thumbs up. So I, that means I know you're, you like the content I'm putting on my channel. Okay, so we've got that. Now we've got this middle one that's plain. See, this is such a pretty print, this one. I did, uh, I did link that one below. So I wanna do something here. And I'm going to use, back here I have these pages, papers, and I think I'm just going to do some um, simple pockets here. So actually I can run this whole, this, this I didn't use. I can run this whole thing right, right across. So, right there. So let me just cut. All right, we want probably about right there. This is how we measure. All right, pull my thingy over. So, probably about three inches. I've made so many pockets that I kind of pretty much know I can eyeball. So now I have this piece for somewhere else. Okay, so what I'm going to do, if I can find it on my desk, a corner punch. The large. Um, if you guys are looking for a good one, this one right here, Kadamaro, but it's only for light cardstock, or, or you can't do two, three, you know, lengths of cardstock. Um, let me grab my circle punch because I'm going to put a little notch in there. And go ahead and glue this down. I'm not going to ink it. I think it looks fine. Okay. And then... Um, you know, you guys can put as many pockets in your journal as you want because I made that large envelope stack that goes, you know, with this set and I have so much ephemera in that. I wanted this to be more, whoops, why is that not sticking? More of a writing journal. Okay, 
um, oh, it's just all over the place. Okay, there we go. And I'll sew around that. So we've got these pockets on this in this one. So I'm probably going to come in and just do a light amount of stenciling on these pages. And um, let me just do one in case you're new to my channel and you haven't seen stenciling done before. It's the simplest thing on the face of the earth. I use brushes. I find that works well. Uh, let me grab a stencil. Got some stencils in here. And I usually do those in stamps on pages that are just, or little quotes or something like that, just to draw in, um, draw the eye in. Okay, that's a nice big rose there. Isn't that pretty? That kind of goes with the theme. You see a lot of these roses with the vintage wallpaper. I'm just going to do one, but I'm going to pull out some others after. So let me put this down here, and then I need to check our time. Um, I'm going to do a little stenciling on this page. Let me move this and put that up there. Use any color you want. I'm just simply going to do, you know what, let's do a pink, since there's a lot of pink in this. So... Um, maybe just a real light spun velvet. And there's some vintage photos still on here, so it'll be a very, um, mute. Well, there's more vintage photo than pink. Oh, well. I usually try to clean my brushes off over on the side, but I don't have anything over here, here. See if I can get any more pink. I don't know if I can. No. Whoops. It slipped. So that's it. That's as simple as that. Simple, simple. Let me grab another pink. Maybe that we could see. Uh, worn lipstick. Some of these inks are getting dry. I've had them for a very, very long time. And you might want to tape your stencil down so it doesn't shift like that one did. I'm going to just come right around the edges here. Just add a little bit of something on this white, white paper. You can print on both sides of your papers. I didn't on this journal, because um, I'm using up so much ink and it is so expensive. I, I have two printers working. One of them, the ink is so expensive, and the other one uh, doesn't feed cardstock through well, because it's the HP, and then I have this Epsom one. Um, so it's, it's, can be a little difficult. All right, let me check the time. Um, and I think, oh, we're only at 23 minutes. We can do the, um, pockets on this one. Okay, I want to do the same. You know, I have this. This is so cute. Does it go this way? I think of it is it's yellow. I think I'll do it right here on the inside cover. I wanted to use it up. This is a graphics fairy. Actually, it's so, it's lightweight, so I think I might use it. I'll put it over here. I wanted to use it as a pocket because it's, it's kind of fun. Small pocket. Let's put it right there. I kind of like, well, I'll put the matching one on. And I think I'm not going to do the inside pockets. I think we're going to do some trims real quick because the next one I come back, we'll finish with the trims and we'll sew in. 
Okay, so let me put that aside and, well, I'll leave this one out and I'll start with the trims right here. Um, I don't have a lot of trim out on my desk, but I do have my whites. So, uh, I'm looking, I'm just gonna grab what I grab. This is cute. Simple, let's just do simple. Let me just trim this end off. And then I need to grab my other lace out. Okay, out right there. Um, I buy my I buy this white lace. You get this all of this. Ignore the tool and the yellow or the the antique style. All of this came except for this big big thing here. Came in a pack and the crochet weren't wasn't in there. All this other white lace all came from Amazon and it was so affordable and I've been using I've been gosh for months it's just like it it was such a large package that it um just lasted it's just lasting a long time okay let me put that aside i have a little bit more of this i think i'll use this right across the middle right here You guys do your lace, you know, your trims, whatever you've got, any way you want. You also don't even need to use uh, that. You can use paper trims and cutoffs, okay? Uh, also, you can come in and, and um, maybe do a little texture paste with a stencil. That is a cute way to embellish. So, um, let me just pull my other trims out. And there was something else I wanted to do. I want to do a fabric flip in here, so. Okay, I've got these trims. And let me see if I have anything in here. Um, that's not green enough. I have some of these pretty beiges. I like this. I like this one too. This peach is pretty if I have any peach in there. Um, I think I'll just use this right here. I'm gonna have a mess here. I'm gonna have to wrap this back around but for the sake of time I'm just gonna and this is fun this rickrack. I like the rickrack too, that's fun. So this has like a little um, silver in it. So I'm just going to run that right across the top there. Oops. Okay. And just take my scissors. Trim that off. Oops. And let me check the time. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Then I'm gonna go through and do a little bit more trims and I'll share that with you. But I think uh, we are just about out of time. It's almost 30 minutes. I'm trying to keep these around 30 minutes. So we will come back and we'll finish out these pages and then we'll sew in and then we'll look at the finished project. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.